Welcome to the Mesozoic Media Park. Now, the goal for this park is to fill it with as many movie, show, and documentary dinosaurs as we possibly can. This time, we will be talk tackling the documentary known as uh, Jurassic Fight Club. So uh, there's two specific scenes that we will be including. One of them was a request from a stream that we had, which, by the way, uh, check out my streams whenever I do them. Uh, of course, I will be notifying everybody when we do our next stream. Um, but this one is going to be the, you know, the Nano Tyrannus versus the Juvenile Tyrannosaurs. Um, in this video, we won't be getting into the debate about Nano Tyrannus versus Tyrannosaurus Rex. You know, is Nano Tyrannus simply just a Juvenile T-Rex? We won't talk about that, of course. Um, and we all have our opinions. We all, you know, subscribe to the evidence that we subscribe to. You know, and me personally, I'm on the side of Juvenile T-Rex, but... But uh, that's neither here nor there. Regardless, we'll be portraying it in the way that it was shown off in the episode where it's just kind of, uh, you know, the Nano Tyrant is just attacking the juvenile Rexes. So we're, that's what we're going to do. You know, just create a nice little enclosure that represents that. So that's our happy little enclosure right there. And the rest of it is very simple, fairly simple. Like there's really not much uh, in the way of creativity is some... Trees that, well, maybe more like this. Well, eh, I don't know. That's probably the closest I'll get, like, you know, for how it looks. So, you know, there's some trees here and there of where they're fighting, kind of situated like that. And then everything else is simply just, just dirt. It's really not anything too special, unfortunately, but... It'll be pretty cool to have these animals in here, you know. Now, this was a documentary that I loved when I was a child. Of course, as I as I got older, it's one of those documentaries that you look at it and it's like, well, you know, from an entertainment standpoint, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. But from an actual educational standpoint, it's not too great. You know, it's it, it's lacking in a lot of cute, a lot of, you know, very important areas. Um, You know, a lot of misinformation and things like that are perpetuated in this documentary. Take, for example, the fact that they portray Tyrannosaurus Rex as um, essentially a giant Komodo dragon. Uh, what I mean by that is that they say that it has like a lot of, you know, hyper lethal bacteria, uh, which is something that was inspired by Komodo dragon at the time, essentially. We now know that Komodo dragon, that's not how they hunt. They do have venom that just mixes with their saliva but at the time, it was believed that it was uh, bacteria. And there were some folks who believed the same for T-Rex. We now know that wasn't the case. I mean, of course, every single animal probably has a lot of bacteria in their mouth, especially if you're a meat-eating animal. So no matter what, even if a T-Rex bit you and you happen to survive, there is a chance that it'll get infected. Um, just not the way that they were kind of portraying it in the episode and in the episode they were portraying it like this is how t-rex hunted you know so aside from key areas like that you know it's like documentary's okay it's fine for what it is once again not my favorite thing in the world especially with how they portrayed pachyrhinosaurus in that but it, it, it's it, it's the thing it, it, it it's it's a, it's it existed it was a history channel thing let's so see i just want really sparse vegetation and then a little bit more back here, because that's where the parents went off to go and hunt. And the juveniles were kind of just hanging around up here. Hanging out up here until they were attacked by the Nano Tyrannus. Okay, so there's that enclosure. Next up is from the episode known as The Bloodiest Battle, which is a Jurassic episode. So in this episode, there's animals that get stuck in mud, of course. It was essentially a predator trap. And Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus are present, and Allosaurus encounters Camarasaurus and Stegosaurus and all that good stuff. I'm only going to portray it with Camarasaurus and Allosaurus, because I don't want this to be too packed of an enclosure, you know? So I, I, I figured it'd be a fun little setting to, to represent. Predator traps are always extremely, extremely fascinating in the world of paleontology. Like, no, look no further than uh, La Brea and you know, uh, Los Angeles, California. Absolutely amazing the fact that there are so many different preserved animals in that one spot. It's just so cool. Uh, so I think portraying a predator trap would be cool, even though I can't like officially portray it. it it's going to look, it looks kind of dumb, but it's fine. 
Um, it's going to look interesting. So let's go ahead and place some water down first, first and foremost, like so. Okay. And then just a lot of dirt, a lot of rock and dirt. I want to give it rock towards the front because that kind of gives it the texture that it had in the uh, in the episode. The mud, the mud did. That's like it, it gives it the texture that the mud had. Close to it anyway. And I gotta say, I really, really hope that Jurassic World Evolution 3 kind of gives us more option when it comes to like painting and all that, like painting all of this. Oh no, my webcam's gonna die. I just hope that Jurassic World Evolution 3 just offers a lot more creative freedom. You know, that's something that these previous two games lacked quite a bit, especially when compared to something like Planet Zoo that just gives so much creative freedom to the player. It's amazing. Um, I, I, I want something more like that. I want you to like, I want modular pieces and things like that, at least as an option. Of course, if you don't want to do that, there could be like preset buildings and things like that. And I think that would be great. But like, you know, give you every type of environment, every type of textured, uh, fix my webcam, every type of the, like the texture and like the paintbrushes in every single map, stuff like that. You know, I think stuff like that is incredibly necessary. Um, obviously the next game needs to have a lot to justify its existence because i think a lot of us were kind of surprised when they decide like well i don't it wasn't officially announced but i'm pretty sure that we are getting a jurassic world evolution 3. a lot of people i think were surprised that they were doing that instead of just continuing to add to jurassic world evolution 2. um and in order to, in order to to justify that you need to have a lot in this next game it needs to go bigger it needs to go better a lot of things that were requested need to be in that new one. And I've heard rumors that a lot of things like that will be included. We don't know anything yet. We don't have like exact specifics, but I'm talking like baby dinosaurs, more creative freedom, just stuff like that. You know, a lot of that is just absolutely needed. And then maybe we can start doing this, uh, this series again on the new, you know, assuming they add a lot more, maybe there's more potential for us in order to like to make a park like this. So then we could start another series similar to that. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to go with. These are not the most fascinating enclosures. Uh, the most fascinating things didn't really happen in that show. But I think it does a fair job at portraying the episodes that we're trying to portray. So let, let's go ahead and get these creatures going. Okay, so here we have them over here, at least these two. Uh, so to portray the young Tyrannosaurus, I wanted to do Albertosaurus because they're a little bit more bulky and I'm trying to represent them how they were shown off in the episode. So I just gave them a nice little brown coloration and stuff like that. They are a little bit bigger than Changesaurus over here who represents the, you know, you know the Nano Tyrannus. Um, gave it a nice green coloration and, it, you know, it's a lot more elongated in the skull. It's a lot thinner. Uh, very similar to how the Nano Tyrannus was portrayed in that episode. So those three are in there. They will forever be fighting to the death until the parent shows up as it goes. And we'll let these guys finish up. And notice the Quetzalcoatlus, man, it is so far away from the prehistoric planet area. That's so crazy. I wonder where Petrie is. No, Petrie's in. He's in the thing. Good for him. Okay. And then now here is the bloodiest battle episode so I, I put some allosaurs in here with the battle at big rock skin which is my favorite model and they look pretty good they look pretty pretty decent in here all just kind of like walking around and we finally have camarasaurus that's a dinosaur that we have not included jurassic world evolution's camarasaurus actually looks pretty good i quite like it um so yeah that represents those guys uh yeah there we go that's uh very good and that, that's very good so Next week, I plan on doing Life on Our Planet because that has been requested quite a bit. So I'll, I'll think of a few different enclosures to do with that. One of them will be the Lystrosaurus because that is a fantastic idea to include Lystrosaurus in this park. And that is the fantastic area to do that. And then I think we're starting to approach the point in time where we're going to start doing the Jurassic franchise because I want, I want to dedicate a huge portion over here to Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, all that good stuff. You know, re try to recreate some scenes there. Uh and maybe wrap up the park through those means. Possibly start a new one. Possibly start one in Prehistoric Kingdom. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, but for now, this is what we have going on here. Be sure to leave some requests in the comments below, and I'm going to try to get to as many of them as I possibly can. And I 
it probably won't be too long until we're starting to do a park tour on this place. So I'm, I have to start building some some pathways in between everything, but it'll look it'll look pretty cool. It'll look interesting as a park. It won't look like the prettiest park, but it's kind of like a showcase, an homage to all of these these different pieces of paleo content, even if some of them do look ugly while others look pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like comment and, you know, subscribe. We do a lot of dinosaur stuff here. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of laughs, but thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome day.